Hello, this is Riding with Ree and I thought it was about time that I gave you an updated autumn winter morning routine. So here we go. Firstly, I'm sorry about my leg. I had a bit of an accident on Ted a couple of days before I shot this and um, I landed quite badly on my knee. We were galloping and he bucked, which is quite unlike him. So I'm getting him checked over his teeth, his back, his saddle, just in case it was anything more than just him getting excited. But anyway, firstly, when I arrive at the yard, it's about quarter past six at this point. Ted is having a day off because obviously I can't ride with my leg. So I go straight into his stable. He's already been fed by someone who arrived before me. So I'm just gonna pop him out on the yard. I do make him stand for a couple of seconds with the door open just to teach good manners that he can't just walk out um, as soon as we uh, open the door. So I'm gonna take him out onto the yard. I'm gonna tie him up. I'll then pick out his feet and then change his rug into his outdoor rug and then he's ready to go straight out in the field. I also have the dentist coming for him today, so I wanna get him turned out so that when the dentist comes, he's already had a few hours out in the field, which should make him also a little bit easier to catch. So news from us both, if you aren't already aware, as of last Wednesday, I actually got Ted on full loan. So with thanks to his lovely owners, um, we had a big chat and this is sort of, I've, I've started sharing him with two days a week and then it was three days a week and then it was four and then we just had a big chat. So we've got a three month full loan trial at the moment. So we will come back together and chat about everything in January. It's actually gonna be the one year anniversary of Ted and I first seeing each other, which is really, really cool. Um, so yeah, we're gonna do a three month trial. We did a whole new contract. We sat down and went through everything together. We went through all of the costs that they currently spend on Ted so that I could check if it was accurate with what I thought it was and it was pretty accurate so once we did that I sort of just started so I officially have him on full loan which is unfortunate with my accident because I now can't ride him for a few days but it's very very exciting it's the first time I've ever had a horse on a pool, full sort of um, proper contracted full loan so I'm super super excited about that. If you would like a video on me going a bit more into the detail of moving from a share to a full loan let me know and I can make that happen just comment below. So I've picked his feet out and I've rubbed him up. I'm gonna groom him later, so that's all fine. And he's ready to go out in the field. It is still dark, it's about 6.30 at this point. So I'm just gonna untie him and then make him stand again for a couple of seconds just to teach good manners. And then it's off out to the field for a few hours. So once I'm back, it's time to get mucked out. I personally like to get this done in the morning so that I don't have to worry about it in the afternoon unless I have a really busy day. So the first thing I do is clear the space. So I take his feed bowls and his water bucket and just take them out onto the main yard. I empty his water bucket and then I leave his feed bowls there for later when I will wash them out ready to be filled up again. And that big horse you can see just behind me is Nito. He's new to the yard and he is such a sweetheart. We keep our tools in the tack room, so I'm just gonna grab those. Even though Ted is on a straw bed, I use a shavings fork and a pooper scooper. Obviously, this is all equipment that his owner bought, but I personally find shavings forks easier. I can find that um, pitchforks, they just a lot of the poo and stuff falls through them and it just takes ages to muck out. So grab those, and then the pooper scoop is just for when I sweep the yard a little bit later taking down his hay net and then it is time to put my podcast on. It is a Monday when I'm filming this so every day I usually listen to The Daily which is from the New York Times but because I'm based in the UK The Daily doesn't actually publish their podcasts until the afternoon over here so I'm always one day behind so because it's Monday I'm listening to Girls Gotta Eat this morning as I muck out. I do a full muck out every single day and Ted, Ted is a funny one. Some days he's really clean, but most of the time he's quite messy. He tends to move everything around. He box walks quite a lot. He's quite like an anxious and um, I guess energetic horse. So he does move around his stable and sometimes that takes a while to pick it all up. So it usually takes me a barrow, maybe two, depends on the day. Since I started full loaning Ted, I've been trying to get into the habit of making my hay nets on the weekend so I don't have to worry about doing it in the morning. And I have enough hay nets here for about four days. So that takes me right through to Thursday and Fridays are usually quieter days for me anyway. So those two hay nets are already ready. And then you'll see I'm using the blue bucket just to pick up a few sections of straw because my wheelbarrow is almost full and I don't wanna empty it yet because I still need to sweep the yard and just add that little bit on top. So putting everything in this little blue bucket just stops it from going all over the yard. 
and actually on this day I end up taking quite a few sections because he was quite messy like I said and I wanted to get his bed nice and fluffy. So that grey horse you can see there sort of peering around the edge of the stable here and there is Marley. He's on box rest at the moment, he hurt himself in the field so bless him, he's quite bored and every time we come into the barn we try and give him a little bit of fuss, a little bit of love and I always give him maybe a couple of treats as well because bless him, he's doing so well. Considering he's been on box rest for a few weeks now, he's not nearly as grumpy as I would be if I was. So now that I've laid my banks, I'm just grabbing my straw and I actually end up putting quite a few buckets worth of straw in here because um, I had to take quite a lot out. I know quite a few people will spread their straw around using a pitchfork or a shavings fork. I personally prefer to do it with my hands. I just find it much easier to get the lumps and bumps out of the straw and much quicker as well. So that's how I do it. It's very satisfying to lay the bed like this. Quick pitchfork test with my friend's pitchfork. If it makes a ting noise, then you don't have enough straw in. And from my face, you can probably tell that I was like, oh, not enough straw. So here comes the second round and my leg is starting to hurt at this point, hence my limping. <laughs> so pass the pitchfork test this time, which means it's just time to sweep up and make everything look tidy. I'm just sweeping down the barn. It's about half seven at this point, so we've probably been doing everything for about an hour. Um, obviously with the filming it takes slightly longer as well because we're setting up shots and what have you. But usually I get all of the kind of chores done within an hour and then I ride for an hour. So I'm usually there for about two to two and a half hours if you include tacking up, grooming, that sort of thing. That's what I do in the morning so that everything is done. And if I'm really short on time then I will um, sometimes ride in the morning and then muck out in the afternoon or ride in the afternoon and muck out in the morning depending on what I'm doing. So once I've added all my sweepings to my wheelbarrow, I take that and drop it off at the muck heap and then I go and do my feeds and then that is it. So I've cleaned my feed buckets here and then I'm just filling up his water bucket and whilst that happens, I usually just put away any other things that need tidying, tidy his rugs, put his fleece back, have a little drink, check my phone, all the usual stuff and then it's on to making feeds. So I'll grab my feeds and head down to the feed room. We make feeds two at a time, so in the morning we make a feed for the evening and then the morning after that so that whoever arrives on the yard in the morning will feed first. Ted has a scoop of Allen and Page fast fibre which we soak and then a scoop of molly chaff in each feed, like one scoop of molly chaff in each feed and half a scoop of the fast fibre in each feed once it's been soaked. And then if there's any garlic left over from the summer, which there was actually, the this was the last day I added garlic, there was just a bit left over, we add that in as well. So his evening feed goes straight into his stable so that when he comes in at night he can eat straight away. It's also a nice reward and a nice routine for him coming in as well. The only thing left to do is to wipe over, or sorry, wipe, wash out my black bucket where the fast fibre goes and put that back in his box outside his stable along with his morning feed so that, as I said, whoever arrives at the yard first can just go and get everyone's morning feeds from outside their stable. And then the only thing left to do is to show Marley a little bit of love because he has been on box rest and I like to give him a little bit of fuss in the morning because he's so quiet and so well behaved and as I said it's not easy when he's been on box rest for that long not to get grumpy so I sort of like to reward him and give him a little bit of fuss before I leave. I hope you've enjoyed today's video and um, give it a thumbs up, let me know what you'd like to see next, what you liked and uh, I hope to see you next time. I'll see you again soon. Thanks for watching.